Hey, it's Dean here, and in this video, I'm gonna give you some essential things you should be doing on LinkedIn to help you be safe, secure, and successful. So we're gonna dive in with some screen shares, and you can kind of dig into this, get the value from it, and please remember, like and subscribe, that will be awesome, thank you. So let's dive in and get started. Okay, so we're on LinkedIn here and we're at my profile. I'm going to show you some of the things that you need to be doing to be safe, secure and successful on LinkedIn. So number one, there are three things that follow you around on LinkedIn, your name, your headline and your profile picture. So you need to make sure your profile picture is clear and you look like a nice, friendly human being, a reasonable person, because people will see that with your post, with your messages, with your connection requests. And if you look grumpy, if they can't make you out, it, it all increases the risk that people won't connect with you and won't engage with you. So make sure you look friendly, nice and a reasonable person. The next thing is your name. Obviously, uh, if you have got qualifications, I would suggest you leave them out of your name. Unless people would address you that way, so doctor, then don't add those titles or letters after your name because it can make you less personable. And remember, LinkedIn is a social business channel and you're trying to build relationships. If you want to sell, if you want to promote yourself, you need to build relationships. And that comes from being a relatable person. So sometimes titles create distance. So again, just put your name as it reads, as somebody would say it, as somebody would speak to you. The next thing is your headline. And this section here, your headline, is a brilliant space, not only to say your job title, but to tell people a little bit about what you do and who you do it for. Now, there's different ways to do it. The first one is you can write a sentence like, I help X people to do Y. That's an easy one to do. Or you can put keywords in like mindset, different business growth, marketing, results driven, speaker, LinkedIn leaders. Short words that tell people a little bit about what you do. That's really, really important because that, again, is something people see on posts. It's something people see on comments, connection requests and messages. So it's really important that you have a compelling headline. Really, really simple. Number two is your about section. This is another set important section here. Try and share some great things about what you've done and the impact you've made for other people. Don't just fill it with CV information. Fill it with like information that your prospects, your ideal customers can come and see and get value from. Uh, because usually before somebody replies to a message, chooses to accept your connection request, they will come and check you out. So it's really important that you build that section there and make sure people can see a bit more about what you're about. Next section I want to look at is the featured section. Now, the featured section is where you can post and fix key pieces of content or web links or blogs or videos that you want people to see. They're very, very prominent. So if you've got key things you want to share, these are the places to do it. So as you can see here, I've got free training, my LinkedIn Elite program, and a video a article I did about the six principles of persuasion. Now you can add more, so you can add a post and pin a post effectively to the top, articles, links, or media, so a document or something like that. And you can edit them as well, so you can edit what appears and change them. It's really, really simple to do. That's a really important section for you to help profile and get traffic to your key pieces of content that can help you get interest. Next, we have the dashboard. Now, the dashboard is where you can measure your stats. This, this box here, the search appearances, is the people who found you and where they're from. So in the last week, 4,096 times I've been found in searches or I've appeared in searches. And these are the uh, companies where these people who've been searching work. These are some of the titles of, of the people that have been searching. And these are some of the words and keywords that they've been using. So this, again, is really important to look to go. Are the right people looking at me? Are 
the right titles looking at me, and am I being found for the right keywords? And to change the people who are searching, you simply change the keywords on your profile. And the keywords are in your headline, in your about section, through your experience. And literally, if you want to be found more for marketing, increase the times that the word, word marketing, meaningful times, you can't just dump, copy and paste 500 marketing words on your profile. The keyword is found on your profile. So increase the keywords and you will get more people looking at you. Dead, dead simple. Then we have your experience, which is just the backstory and history. In the dashboard, you've got the search appearances, you've got the post views, and this is the statistics of the last thing you posted. So it's really important that you keep an eye on this and keep watching who's looking. I published this post a couple of hours ago. You can go in here and you can look and see some of the companies, the job titles and the locations. And if you post regularly, you get to see these on a regular basis. So you can start to tie up who's looking with the locations and see, am I being found by the right people on a regular basis? And you can check them out and see, is it right? Are you finding the right people? Are they finding you? So it's important to post regularly, not only to get your message out there, to get your information out there. It's important to post so you can see who's, look, who's looking and who's finding you. And again, you change the content and it will give you a completely different audience. So it's important to keep using content as a way to see who's interested, who's engaging with you and all of those things. Then we have the who's viewed your profile. Now, who's viewed your profile is a great way where you can track your performance. So over the last couple of weeks, my performance has kind of climbed down a little bit, but this is a way to, to plot the trend. So my trend's been going down the last few weeks, uh, so I need to do more work to keep my profile views high, but that's the job I've got to do. That's effectively keeping an eye on your profile views. And what you'll find is some of the people who've been looking at your posts will also look at your profile. So you can look at both your post views and the companies and then cross-reference that with your profile views, and you'll start to see a flavor of the people who are interested in what you do, and some of the people here will be people who are really interested in what you do. We're now gonna look at some privacy settings that really protect your LinkedIn account from being abused. The first thing is that a lot of LinkedIn accounts, instead of having the advertisement here, and I'll show you now briefly in this setting, um, they have other people's profiles. So you'll see people's profiles appearing here. And what happens is people come to your profile, have a look, and then their eye is caught on somebody else's and they navigate away. You need to make sure that this setting is turned off. Now, mine's already turned off, but I'll show you how you do it. You go to start menu here, uh, to the profile picture here, settings and privacy. And then we scroll down to viewers of this profile also viewed and you change it to no. I'll change it to yes so you can see what happens. But you would change this to no. When I flick back to my profile and refresh, now you can see people are being suggested on the right hand side as people that I should be connected. People should also look at. Now, the problem is here, generally speaking, what who appears here are customers, competitors, and colleagues. I don't want my competitors promoted on my profile. I don't want my customers promoted on my profile. And I'm not so fussed about my colleagues being promoted on my profile. So we need to make sure that that setting is off. And I've just reset it and put it in here to make sure that it's gone again. Now, the other setting that you need to lock down is we've all had a cheeky stalk of our competitors and we've had a look at what they've been doing and seeing who they've been interacting with. We've all done it. What you don't want to do is be a business development tool for your competitors. So I'm going to show you a setting now that will help prevent you from being found or used as a business development tool. So we go into settings. You see here on your profile, you've got your 500 plus connections. One of the default settings on LinkedIn is that it allows your first connections to see who you are connected with. So in here, you can click them, or if you're connected to certain people, you're, you can click and look through their connections. So you could connect with a competitor or a competitor could connect with you. And if you have this setting on, they can look through your connections, which could be customers. So we don't really want that. So again, we're gonna do a quick change. Mine's already locked down, but 
on your own profile, when you're logged in as yourself, you can click it. But if you look at other people's profile and this is blue, it means they've left that setting open. So again, you don't want this for your profile. So we go in here to the settings and privacy. And we go, who can see your connections? And you change it to only you, only you. And again, when you go back, you'll still be able to see it. But whenever anybody else sees it, they won't be able to see your connections. So one final thing I'm going to check on this video, a really, really simple thing on this video. And it is this on your dashboard here. You should have an all star status. If you don't have this, you will have a progress bar around here that basically says intermediate or beginner. This feature, all star feature, is very easy to get, but most people ignore it. What it does is it elevates your profile above intermediate and beginner accounts. So you'll get found more, you'll become more visible on the platform. So it's really important that you follow the steps. If you've got the progress chart here, you follow the steps, which is just simple things like adding some work history and schooling and education history, really easy stuff to do, that just elevates you above the majority of uh, well, intermediate and beginner accounts. Really, really simple things to do, but it's it's absolutely uh, transformative to the visibility of your account. Now, some final tips to help you be successful on LinkedIn. Number one, do not connect and pitch. Connecting and pitching, you know, the typical, I'm going to connect with somebody and then send them a big, long sales pitch, does not work. And more so, what it does is it actually harms your account. So you should not connect and pitch. Very, very dangerous for your account. Tip number two, if you want to do business with people, interact with them regularly. Engage with their posts, comment on their posts, interact with people you want to do business with. It's really, really important. If you want to build trust and build visibility with your prospects, interact with them, deliberately interact. Tip number three, ensure that whatever you do, you don't go negative. LinkedIn's algorithm works on the basis that every time you like and comment, it amplifies. So if you go around commenting negatively, there's potential that some of your connections, some of your customers, some of your prospects will start to see this stuff. So don't turn negative. Stay positive. You don't have to be all in the fluffy clouds and everything, but don't troll. Don't be abusive. Don't be aggressive. Stay away from controversial topics, politics, so that you're not alienating any audiences. It's really, really important that you just build and be a nice human being on social media. And if there was one more tip I would give you, it would be this. It can get very exciting on LinkedIn when you can see all the people you can potentially work with and get, generate business with. It's very, very exciting. But you need to work out on a process and a step-by-step -step method. If you don't, you will create a lot of fireworks, little tiny explosions going off, but it won't lead to anything meaningful. So um, things like the power of a thank you message when you connect with somebody without pitching, you know, just a thanks for connecting. Hope you're well. This is what I do. How's business for you? Cheers, Dean. The power of that it, over a long winded sales pitch is massive. So have a process, engage with people, connect with people, thank them for connecting, keep engaging with them, keep interacting, share content that will help them in the area that you provide a product, service or solution to. Real simple stuff, but have a process. I've got my seven step process, which I teach on my Sales Navigator Social Selling course, but you might adapt and make your own process. But the key components of it are building relationships and having a process to take people on a journey to a sale, not try and convert people to a sale. If you've got any questions, please feel free to get in touch with me. We can go through those and I'll help you as much as I can. And also there's some videos on my YouTube channel too.